This video will give you a brief overview of how to set up network rendering using Octane for Cinema 4D. It's not meant to be a replacement for the documentation which you can find online, which has a much more comprehensive overview of the uh, options and settings involved. This is just meant to get you up and running. In order to render in a network, you'll need several things. You'll need a master machine. It's the machine that's going to be sending out the packets of information to all of the other machines on the network that are enabled allowing them to help you render the scene. The other machines on the network are referred to as slaves. They need to have a licensed version of Octane standalone installed on each machine, and that version of Octane should match the version that you're using for Cinema 4D. If you're not sure what version of the plugin you're using for Cinema 4D, you can go to Octane, Octane Dialog, and it says it right up here, Octane Render for Cinema 4D. In this case, I'm using 3.08.2-R3. So for each of the slave machines, you don't necessarily need to install uh, Cinema 4D, but you do need to install the licensed version of Octane Standalone. And the version of Octane Standalone that you install must match the one that's being used by Cinema 4D so that it's sending the scene to the right version of Octane. So on this machine, I have several versions of Octane uh, installed, but the one that I'm using for Cinema 4D is uh, Octane 308 RC2. So this is the one that I want to make sure that I install on each of the slave machines, and I also want to install the Octane 308 RC2 daemon. This is a little program that communicates with the master machine, allowing uh, the machines on the network, the slave machines, to send information about the render back and forth between the slaves and the master. Installing the daemon on the slave machines is very easy. You just click on this link right here. It's going to open up a little console window. And we can use the defaults here uh, for most of these settings. So I'm just going to hit enter to do the uh, default. It's going to show me the GPUs available on this machine. And the default is all, so I'm just going to hit enter. Do I want to enable out of core textures on this machine? Yes or no? That, of course, depends on if I have a lot of textures in my scene. This is going to take up a lot of memory. The default is no. So in this case, I'm just going to put no, but it depends on the scene. And then finally, it's going to ask this last question, and I'm going to say yes. It's going to install the daemon, and then tell me press any key to continue. Now, of course, this is the master machine. It makes no sense to install the daemon on the master machine because you're not going to use the master as a slave as well. But I just wanted to show you the process. The daemon is what you would download from otoy.com and install on each of the slave machines. So once you've set up Octane Standalone and the daemon on each of the slave machines, then you'll want to start the daemons. And you'll see a console window pop up on the daemon machines indicating that it's listening for instructions or render packets from the uh, master machine. So the next step is to start network rendering on the master machine. So now you're ready to set up your network rendering on the master machine. So in Cinema 4D on the master machine, of course you want to add your scene to the queue. Go to Render, Edit Render Settings, under Octane Render with this selected. Down here you'll find the settings for network rendering. So I'll enable network rendering. And then I can open up the network preferences and you should see all the devices appear. It might take a few moments for the machine to detect them, but you'll see them appear down here. And then you can turn on enable network rendering and then start your batch render. And you'll see the uh, packets being sent back and forth between the slaves and the master machine. So that's the basics of setting up network rendering using Octane for Cinema 4D.